continue to see new and exciting Windows phones coming to the market every month. For example, here's the new, let's bring it up here. Here's the new HD2, which will be available through T-Mobile. Sharper, brighter, and richer screen technologies really do make a difference. We will have a lot more to say about phones next month at Mobile World Congress. But of course, the biggest hit of the year for us and for our industry partners was the launch of Windows 7. Windows 7 is absolutely one of my favorite topics, no surprise probably in that, so I'm glad to be able to spend some time talking about it. We had three big goals with Windows 7. First, we wanted to deliver PC experiences that work the way people want them to work. People want a computer that fires up quickly, feels responsive, and offers longer battery life. Simply put, we all want an experience that is faster, leaner, and less busy. Second, we wanted Windows 7 to make it a lot simpler to accomplish common tasks. People need to be able to navigate quickly, organize their information easily, and access applications instantly. And third, we wanted to enable a world of new possibilities for software developers, hardware manufacturers, and end users. Our customers and partners want to be able to do new and exciting things and push the boundaries and capabilities of today's technology. For each one of these goals, I think we delivered in a big way. We did it by working with our customers, with you, through an incredible process, actually, of collaboration between our engineering teams, our customers, and our partners. Windows 7 was an unprecedented effort that included 3,000 world-class Microsoft engineers, 50,000 partners, and 8 million beta test customers. From soccer moms to small businesses, from grandparents to gamers, from Australia to Zimbabwe, people from every walk of life and every corner of the globe helped us wait, make Windows 7 and make it an incredible success. The results are now speaking for themselves. According to NPD, U.S. retail data shows that Windows PC sales jumped almost 50% the week it launched. On Black Friday, it's reported that retailers sold 33% more Windows PC sales from last year. Last year was a tough year, but these are still phenomenal numbers. Today, I think I certainly am very proud to be able to say that Windows 7 is by far the fastest selling operating system in history. But for me, the most important measure of success is what our customers think. And customer reaction with their experience has been very, very good. A recent survey found a 94% satisfaction rate amongst early adopters of Windows 7. All of this is driving great results for our industry. After predicting a 2% drop in PC shipments in 2009, Gartner now expects the final number to be up 3%. That will mean nearly 300 million PCs shipped in 2009, which is an incredible number of smart devices. There's no more popular smart device today in the world than the PC. And for 2010, Gartner is looking at a jump of more than 12%. That's incredible momentum. Clearly, consumers are saying that there's never been a better time to be a Windows 7 PC. And why the numbers are so strong. If you look at all of the amazing hardware our partners are bringing to market, from all-in-one PCs to ultra-thins, 
netbooks, notebooks, screaming gaming rigs. The range of PCs with Windows 7 is virtually limitless. There is truly a Windows 7 PC for everyone. The Windows platform represents the broadest ecosystem of developers in the world. From casual games to the most powerful software running the world's biggest organizations, there are over 4 million Windows applications in all. And Windows Soft 7 allows software to become even better. Developers are creating rip, rich applications that take advantage of the new technologies in 7. Our partners have delivered over 800,000 new, unique Windows 7 applications exploiting these new technologies with over 240,000 new devices, peripherals, and machines just since we delivered the beta release. This all includes an unprecedented array of products that take advantage of new capabilities, platform capabilities like voice, touch, GPS sensing, graphics, social communication, streaming media, and much more, which are available for industry innovation in Windows 7. The quality, the value, and the choice in Windows PCs simply can't be matched on any other platform. And looking back on the past year, it's clear that Windows 7 really is a rising tide that has helped lift many boats in our business. But rather than just sit here and talk, talk, talk about what we're delivering, we'd like to show you what is now available or coming soon. And to help me do that, I'd like to invite on stage Ryan Asdurian from our Windows team. And we're going to show you some Windows 7 PCs and some other uh, things that are becoming available. Please welcome Ryan. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. All right. Hey, everyone. Today, I've got some time to show you some of my favorite hardware and software. And you just heard Steve talk about the categories of PCs, and there's so many different PCs out there. Today, I'm going to show you just a glimpse, some of the best stuff you can get today, and of course, some things you haven't seen before. Let's get started. All right, now first, I want to talk about all-in-ones. Now, all-in-ones are great because they're just like desktops, but take up less space and have more style. They're great for your home office, your dorm room, or even your kitchen. Here. I've got the Lenovo A300. It's the thinnest all-in-one on the market. And right next to it, I've got the Medion Touch. But over here, I have the Sony Vio L. That's got a 24-inch HD screen and Blu-ray drive built right in. Now, that's lustworthy right there, but there is more. I can interact with this PC just using my finger. Touch capability right here. And this is a comic book app, but it's not just comic books. You can use this to browse the web or some of the thousands of applications out there that take advantage of touch in Windows 7. Now, being in Vegas, you got to look sexy. So we've got some PCs. <laughs> I don't know, baby, but go ahead. <laughs> well, we've got some PCs that it's are bringing sexy back. Good thing we've got some back. PCs today. That's right. <laughs> Let me show you this. Up here, we've got the Asus, the MSI, and this Dell Adamo XPS. It's the thinnest laptop on the market. I've got these four poker chips up here. You see it's actually thinner than that. Now, right here, you can really see it, super thin. Steve, if you just slide your finger over the top, as he does that, it magically opens up. And as you can see, it's already awake from sleep. That's fast. That's fast. All right. That's fast indeed. Now, being thin, is having great design is not only about being thin. I've got the Asus NX90 here. It's built in partnership with renowned designer David Lewis. Not only does it look great, but it has amazing sound thanks to its Bang & Olufsen speakers. Cool. Pretty nice. Cool. Now, I do love to travel, and I just got back from a recent vacation to Brazil. And I needed a way to stay connected across continents. So I brought a netbook with me. It's the perfect travel accessory. Let me upload photos, create panoramics, and really make sure my friends and family were a little bit jealous of what I was doing down in Brazil. As you can see here, we've got lots of different styles and colors to choose from. So you can find the one that's just right 
for you. Best of all, they all run the full version of Windows 7.